We have made quite a lot of discoveries in the past, but there are still a lot of things left for us to unravel. In this video, I'll show you some discoveries you might have missed, from a mysterious Demon Slayer sword to a rare collection of gold coins. Here are the 15 strangest objects recently discovered. Number 15. Demon Slayer Sword and Mirror Shield Japan is known for its magnificent and impressive history. Recently, one of Japan's greatest treasures was discovered by researchers excavating an ancient burial mound. It was there that they discovered a massive shield-shaped bronze mirror. It was a magnificent artifact, and just when they thought it was the only thing buried in the mound, they also discovered a giant seven-foot iron sword. It was estimated that the sword was created in the second half of the 4th century AD, and several years after its creation, it was buried in the burial mound where it remained until 2022. The discoveries were incredibly significant in Japanese mythology. Mirrors were seen as sacred objects. A single mirror has the power to reflect images and start fires. It's also a symbol of authority and holiness. The mirror was two feet long and about a foot wide. Its backside was incredibly well made. It was heavily decorated with interweaving patterns adorning the bronze surface. The mirror was the largest of any bronze mirrors discovered in the country. However, its shape made it more special. The center of the mirror was made so that one would be able to pick up the artifact. An inscription that translates to Other Worlds adorns the raised section representing Japanese deities. And of course, the magical mirror shield was of no use unless it was accompanied by a sword. The seven-foot sword was a breathtaking snake-shaped blade called the Koken. Its incredible preservation made it the largest intact sword ever unearthed in the country. Together with the mirror, the giant sword was wielded by men. However, instead of fighting in wars, the weapons weren't meant to slay human enemies. The sword was said to be made specifically to serve as a weapon for spiritual warfare. The mirror would protect the dead on their journey to the afterlife, while the sword serves as a blade to slay demons and ghosts. I have to be honest and admit that these are among the coolest weapons ever discovered. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Bizarre Vampire Burials Today, vampires are nothing but mythological and fictional creatures. But in the past, many cultures all around the world believed their existence. Several myths from all around the world talk about a specific set of tools used to fight a vampire. You might already have an idea as to what items are included on the list. A wooden stake to drive through the undead's chest, cloves of garlic to repel the monster, and pretty much any cross or crucifix that you have. In the past, however, people made sure they wouldn't be disturbed by these blood-sucking creatures through a precaution they religiously followed. Archaeologists announced the discovery of a vampire burial in a Roman graveyard. They unearthed the grave of a ten-year-old who died from malaria during the 5th century. When they uncovered the skull of the young one, they discovered the bone-chilling truth. To prevent the child from returning to life as a vampire, people at the time inserted a stone into its mouth. Archaeologists who saw the burial claimed it was the first time they discovered such a tragic burial. However, it wasn't the very first vampire burial discovered. Burials that were excavated between the 7th and 9th centuries revealed skeletons of men and women who were bound or buried with the sharp side of the sickle facing their necks. In the past, people believed that anything created by fire and hammering could drive away demons. Number 13. Large Silver Cross Discovered in Grave When it comes to excavations, discovering a grave might also have meant discovering a treasure trove. In the past, people believed in burying jewelry and treasure along with the dead, and so it was quite common to unearth several treasures in tombs and graves. Although this practice was common in ancient Egypt, people across Europe also carried out the same practice. Earlier this year, archaeologists discovered the burial of a noblewoman in Northampton, England. They had already discovered several magnificent treasures on the site, but their latest discovery stood out from the rest. What they found was a unique silver cross with a large garnet in the center. It was estimated to have dated back to 1,300 years ago. The large and ornate cross was directly placed on the body of the woman suggesting that it was meant to protect her or serve as an amulet. The cross was decorated with human faces cast in silver with blue glass eyes. Archaeologists believe that the rather eerie decoration was meant to depict Jesus Christ and his apostles. For now, this is all we know about the burial and the large silver cross. 
but more intriguing things might come out in the future. Number 12. 190-year-old tortoise. How would you celebrate your 190th birthday? Well, if you ask Jonathan, the oldest tortoise in the world, he would spend it just like any other day. He would sleep, eat, and enjoy the sunshine. Jonathan is a Seychelles giant tortoise, and in February 2022, he celebrated his 190th birthday. Previously, the oldest ever living colonian, or the reptile order that includes turtles, tortoises, and terrapins, was held by a Madagascar radiated tortoise gifted to Tonga's royal family in 1777. It died in 1965 at the age of 188. Jonathan was a tortoise that arrived in St. Helena as a gift to St. William Gray Wilson in 1882. Wilson became the governor of the island. And of course, Jonathan lived in the governor's residence where he had plenty of space to do what he wanted. Although it was rather sad, he outlived his original owner and has seen 31 governors hold office since then. Some people believe that Jonathan might actually be older, but because it's hard to pinpoint his exact age, we'll have to stick with 190. You might think that's a small number, but this tortoise has seen several of the most remarkable events in the last two centuries. The invention of the incandescent light bulb, he lived through the beginning and the end of the two world wars, and he was also already grown when Neil Armstrong became the first man who stepped on the moon. Number 11. Reptilian Statues There are many theories that claim aliens or reptilian creatures live and hide among us. Most of these theories are unfounded and illogical, but this new discovery seems to support the idea that reptile-like creatures walked among us in the past. Archaeologists excavating Tel al Ubaid in Iraq discovered 7,000 year old statues of lizard men. The Ubaid is a prehistoric culture in Mesopotamia that existed between 4,000 and 5,500 BC. Just like the Sumerians, much about this culture remains unknown. They lived in mud brick houses and had enough knowledge to develop their own architecture, agriculture, and social system. But the most mysterious part of their culture is the strange statues they made depicting humanoid creatures with reptilian characteristics. Some of the lizard figures hold young reptilians, while others hold scepters symbolizing power and authority. Of course, these figurines could easily be dismissed as a deception or symbol of a deity or another fictional figure, but some believe otherwise. The lack of text and knowledge we have about this culture might mean we will never learn the truth. Number 10. 2,600-year-old cheese. Are you a foodie? If you are, you might be interested in the elder cheese. Well, this isn't really the very first block of cheese discovered, but it is one of the few cheeses in the world that date back to the creation of the pyramids and the reign of the pharaohs. In 2022, archaeologists discovered blocks of ancient cheese dating back around 2,600 years at the Saqqara necropolis in Egypt. The cheese turned out to be halomi, a cheese that dates back to the 26th and 27th Egyptian dynasty between 688 and 525 BC. The cheese was made from a mixture of goat and sheep milk. Unlike the decadent dairy that we consume today, this 2,600-year-old cheese had a rather rubbery texture and tangy taste when it was still safe to consume. Just like us today, ancient Egyptians also had cheese as a staple food in their diet. It was eaten with bread, meat, and sometimes on its own. It was also a popular alternative to meat and could be cooked or eaten raw. Discoveries might be able to help us recreate the taste of this cheese, but quite honestly, experts believe it wasn't really to die for. Number 9. Mysterious Giant Hindi Jars Several jars were spotted across the northeastern state of Assam in India. Most of the giant jars were halfway buried in the ground. The vessels varied in size and shape but the same group of people were responsible for creating the jars. Experts believe that the sandstone vessels date back to 401 BCE, or perhaps even earlier. The discovery of the jars was a surprise to experts who had no idea that such artifacts were buried on the site to begin with. Some of the vessels measured up to 10 feet tall and up to 6.5 feet wide. The purpose of the vessels remains unknown, and the people who crafted them are also shrouded in mystery. Aside from Assam, Jars were also recovered in regions near India, and although there isn't enough proof, archaeologists believe that all the buried jars had a single origin. For now, archaeologists hope to find the source of the sandstone used to carve the vessels. Unfortunately, the vast jungle might slow down the investigation. Number 8. Precious Fabric 
The Silk Road was a system of trade routes connecting Asia, Europe, and Africa. Although it was called a road, it was not an actual road or a route. The Silk Road refers to several routes used by traders for more than 1,500 years. The Silk Road opened during the Han Dynasty of China and lasted until 1453 CE when the Ottoman Empire closed off trade with the West. It's considered the most important system of routes in the history of mankind. Earlier this year, archaeologists discovered rare printed fabrics around 1,300 years old. The most surprising thing about them was that they were discovered in an Israeli dump. The discovery led to speculation of an Israeli Silk Road. Initially, it was believed that cotton fabrics were imported from India and Nubia, but the new discovery proved that Israel also traded with China. Although it sounds insignificant, discovering pieces of fabric helped archaeologists to learn more about the long-distance movement of goods and geographic diffusion in the past. Which country traded with which? And how did ideas and concepts pass from one place to another? These are the questions archaeologists hope to answer. Number 7. Giant Dinosaur Nesting Ground Surely, when you first heard about dinosaurs in the past, you must have imagined a world where they still existed. Can you imagine how different our world would be if these massive, ferocious lizards still existed? We might never know. But thanks to a recent discovery, we can learn more about these creatures. While exploring near the city of Dar in the state of Madhya Pradesh in India, paleontologists discovered a vast collection of fossilized dinosaur eggs. We've discovered dinosaur footprints and even bones before, but dino eggs are considered rare. The eggs belong to a giant plant-eating dino known as the Titanosaur. Experts believe that the mother dinosaur laid her eggs shortly before the extinction event that wiped out the terrible lizard 66 million years ago. Well, that's what you call unlucky. The eggs still retain degraded protein in their fragments, which is a valuable source of data for paleontologists. Titanosaurs were incredibly massive creatures that grew up to 12 meters long and weighed a staggering 13,000 kilograms. Who knows, we might finally learn something new about the largest creatures to ever walk on our planet. For now, the discovery told us more about the parenting styles of the massive titanosaurs. The arrangement of the nesting sites was rather close to each other, showing that they were neglectful as parents. Instead of finding their own nest or building one away from the herd, Titanosaurs laid their eggs together in large colonies or rookeries, just like several bird species and crocodiles. Number 6. Replica Sword or 3,000-Year-Old Weapon At the Field Museum in Chicago lies a replica Bronze Age weapon. The rusted sword has been displayed in the establishment over the last century. Many dismissed it as a replica. But earlier this year, a new study suggested that perhaps the museum had been in possession of an authentic 3,000-year-old blade all along. The sword was discovered in the 1930s by a team of Hungarian archaeologists on the bank of the Danube River in Budapest. In the past, the sword was called a replica Iron Age sword, but this initial identification was incredibly wrong. The Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago, Illinois took the sword off the hands of the Hungarian National Museum in the 1930s. Although the sword wasn't properly examined yet, somewhere in its transportation and handling, it became an actual replica sword. It remained a fake until recently when researchers examined the sword and realized it wasn't a modern sword created to look like an Iron Age weapon. Rather, it was forged some 3,000 years ago in the late Bronze Age. Needless to say, workers at the museum were incredibly surprised by what they discovered. They had been in possession of a Bronze Age artifact all along. Number 5. 7,500-year-old ostrich egg. Who's up for some eggs sunny side up? A team of archaeologists discovered eight ostrich eggs between 4,000 and 7,500 years old, near an ancient fire pit in southern Israel. They were discovered near a campsite used by prehistoric nomads. Near the eggs were other prehistoric tools, from pottery shards and stone tools to flint and several burnt stones. It turned out that our predecessors enjoyed some nice cooked eggs roasted in a fire pit. The fragmented ostrich eggs were discovered near what looked like a makeshift stove, where they were most likely cooked after being broken. In the past, the vast expanse of Israel used to be home to wild ostriches. However, the two-legged animals ceased to exist in the 19th century. There were attempts to reintroduce wild ostriches into the desert region of the country in the past, but unfortunately, it seems like the animal won't be able to live in the habitat again. After releasing a group of ostriches into the wild, four bones of the birds were recovered in the Eilat Mountains. 
Releasing more of the big birds would mean releasing them as free food for the wild dogs and wolves in the region. Although there was a substantial number of ostriches in Israel in the past, prehistoric humans needed to work hard to obtain a single egg. After all, ostriches are known to be fierce parents. What's more, a single eggshell has more value than its yolk. A single eggshell could be used as an item for funerary rites, jewelry, and even a water canteen. And now, it's time for today's topic. Scientists were shocked to find this in Europe. While excavating a site, several archaeologists discovered this huge sphere beneath the ground. The sphere was incredibly massive, and yet researchers had no idea what it was and where it came from. There have been several spheres discovered all around the world, like the many stone spheres discovered in Costa Rica. More than 300 of the round stones lie on the Dikis Delta on Isla de Caño in the country. The spheres were believed to have been placed along the path leading to the House of Chiefs, but the exact purpose of the spheres remains unknown to this day. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Magical Mechanics Archaeologists excavating a site in Bavaria, Germany discovered more than 70 ancient water wells, but one stood out from the rest. Ancient water wells were far different from the ones made today. After all, the ancient civilizations treated water as a blessing and the primary source of life. Without water, they would die from thirst and their crops wouldn't flourish. For this reason, it was a custom back then to sanctify their water wells. In the ancient times, wells were often used as meeting places and they also became community centers where people gathered. While we now have wishing fountains, people back then spoke wishes in wells. The wishes they spoke out loud were activated by throwing coins in the water. In one particular well discovered in Bavaria, archaeologists found a treasure trove of Bronze Age artifacts from bowls, cups, pots, to other grave goods. Garment pins, metal spirals, and a pendant were also discovered in the well. But perhaps the most astounding thing discovered in the well was a magical mechanical tool known as an enhancing stone. They were often put into wells to ensure the cleanliness of the water and its steady supply. Archaeologists believe that 3,000 years ago, people might have also dropped coins and offerings into wells as a form of sacrifice for a good harvest. Number 3. 3,600-year-old 3, silver used as money each country has a currency that has an unrefuted value, but thousands of years ago, money didn't look the same as to what we use today. Recently, archaeologists discovered dozens of silver pieces in Israel. The metal showed signs of being buried for thousands of years, and they were all deformed, discolored, and crumpled. Archaeologists estimate that the silver pieces date back to sometime between 1700 and 1600 BC in the Middle Bronze Age. The silver pieces might not look like much, but archaeologists immediately had an idea as to what they were. Back then, it was used as a form of currency. After all, our ancestors only began using coins in the 12th century BC, or during the early Iron Age. The deformed silver pieces were made in Anatolia, or now known as present-day Turkey. After being transported from one place to another, the silver pieces became a form of currency in the Levant and the surrounding Mediterranean region during the Bronze Age. Now, you're probably wondering how exactly people back then used these pieces, or proto-coins, as a form of currency. A fantastic example can be seen in the Bible. In the scriptures, silver shekels were used as a form of currency. Just like in the Levant, people used broken pieces of silver with a weight of about 16.83 grams each. So if you would like to purchase something for 400 shekels, you would be required to pay about 15 pounds of silver to the merchant. That sounds quite inconvenient, doesn't it? Well, thankfully, modern currency was invented. Can you imagine going around carrying pounds and pounds of silver pieces just to shop? Number 2. Animal Bones Used for Divination and Gaming How would you like to play a game using dice made from animal bones? It might not be something you would be interested in doing, but people who lived more than 2,000 years ago played and used bones for divination. Archaeologists discovered the knuckle bones in the ancient site of Maresha, which is now a national park in Israel. It was once a bustling city hiding a secret underground. Beneath the houses and stalls was an entire system of caves. The underground caves were meant to be places of worship and clandestine hideouts. In one of these caves, archaeologists discovered more than 600 individual pieces of animal knuckle bones. Experts estimate that the knuckle bones date back to the Hellenistic period, 
which began with the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BCE. After further examination, the bones appeared to be from different animals, including goats, sheep, and cattle. The knuckle bones were known in the ancient world as astragaly. These bones were found on other locations around the world, and they all had the same purpose, to be used in rituals or simply games played for fun. Some of the astragaly bore inscriptions of gods associated with human wishes and desires. There were some knuckle bones that bore the name of Hera, the goddess of marriage and women, Aphrodite, the goddess of love, and Nike, the goddess of victory. If they weren't used for playing, the knuckle bones were used to determine the will of the gods. A simple ritual done in the past was believed to have the power to reveal one's fate. To this day, the origins of this ritual and game remain shrouded in mystery. But it's clear that everyone in the ancient site of Maresha used the astragaly to pass their time and communicate with their gods. Number 1. $280,000 Rare Gold Coins Sometimes you'll get lucky when you least expect it. A couple living in their 18th century townhouse in the United Kingdom decided to renovate and put a few upgrades in their house. Among the changes they wanted was to replace the home's kitchen floor. While cleaning up, they found what initially looked like an electrical cable buried beneath the concrete floor. Curious, they began removing it, and it was then that they discovered a small stoneware cup filled to the brim. All the couple wanted was to repair their home, but they were rewarded with a magnificent collection of more than 260 rare gold coins. The coins date back to between 1610 and 1727. Their individual costs range from 50 to 100 pounds. Among the coin collection was a misprinted George I guinea, which was minted in 1720. Instead of the usual head and tail sides, the coin had two tail sides. The couple immediately asked experts to examine the collection and estimate its cost. And it seems like the collection was perfect for the couple. The coins do not meet the specifications to be considered treasure under British law. If it was, the couple wouldn't be able to keep most of what they found and would have been forced to give up the majority of it. The final value of the coins wasn't revealed to the public, but it was estimated that the collection fetched as much as $288,000 in the auction held a month after its discovery. Be sure to comment down below the discovery that intrigued you the most. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.